Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, March 21st right now. What time is it? 7.15. It is 7.15 in the morning. I'm so tired. <laughs> I hope you guys can tell. I hope they can tell. So I've currently got my hair ready to go. No makeup on my face and still in my pajamas. And we're actually going to be heading off to go see some llamas today. No, okay. alpacas. Alpacas. We're going to see some alpacas today. So the reason we're up so early this morning is because we have an appointment to go see the alpacas at 10 a.m. all the way in London, Ontario at this place called Sammy's Farm. Sammy's Alpaca Farm. I'm not quite sure. Link it below so you guys can check it out if you want. And they essentially just have a bunch of alpacas there that you can walk around and touch and play with. And I signed us up for a session where we can walk the alpacas down into the road and kind of like touch them. I just essentially want pictures of the alpacas. Can we ride them? No, you cannot ride the alpacas. Mm. You cannot ride the alpacas, guys. Essentially, you can like, I don't know, handle them. You can teach them skills and stuff like that. You can also play with them a little bit. I've always, always, always wanted to touch alpacas. So it's like a dream come true for me. I thought I was almost going to be able to touch alpacas last summer when we went to this kind of farm in PC. It's Prince Edward County for anybody who's not from Toronto. Until I found out that they were stuck behind a fence and we were not allowed to touch them. So that kind of crushed my dreams a little bit, which is why I'm super excited to be touching alpacas today. <laughs> There's a little bit of backstory that goes into this. Um, about all the way back in January, I scheduled a trip for us to go to the alpaca farm in February, about like six months ahead of time. February rolls up and the date we're supposed to go there, it actually snows 40 centimeters. So I really pushed for us to go because I want to go see them. Plus it'd be cute to get like a snowy photo. Peter here resisted and absolutely refused to go. I'm just trying to show Kobe how he looks right now. This is how Kobe sits with us on chairs whenever he's with us. He just like lies in our lap here. Hi, bye. You guys stay at home today. You can't come with us. So anyways, we rescheduled for March 21st. And it was supposed to be me, Peter, Mel, Dave, and Rosa. Unfortunately, Mel and Dave are currently in Tokyo. So they will not be with us. Um, I've already prepaid for everybody, so it's gonna be 75 bucks for the three of us to go visit alpacas, but that's okay. I finally get to check that off my bucket list. Rosa is currently in the bathroom right now. She slept over at our place last night just because it's about like a three hour drive to get there. And yeah, she lives in Markham, so that would not be fun for her to kind of have to bust down at five o'clock in the morning. So picked her up last night, brought her to our place. She slept over and now we're heading out together in the morning to go visit alpacas. As you can see, in my pajamas, I think I'm going to change in the car closer to when we get there because I don't like sleeping in cars in uncomfortable clothing when I don't need to. And the outfit that I wanted to go wear when I was shooting photos with alpaca is not exactly the heaviest. My makeup's also going to be applied in the car because you know we got time to sleep with makeup on. I want to sleep in the car for a little bit. Three hours is enough time to get a power nap in, guys. Not even power nap, but a full sleep. So we're going to pack up, head out. I will catch up with you guys on the road. We're on the way to go see the alpacas. We made it out of the house into the car. Rose is in the back seat. They're chilling. Hello. Peter's over on this side. It is now 7.40 in the morning and the sun has like barely risen. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. By the way, if I sound really bad right now, I have a cold. And I'm still half asleep, which is why I sound like crap old. This is the sun situation, guys. There is like no sun. It is so foggy and gloomy outside still. It was supposed to be warm today. What happened Sorry. to the weather? I cannot change weather. <laughs> I'm not storm. It should be. I am not storm. Five degrees today. It was supposed to be sunny too. I'm gonna go back to sleep right now because I'm really, really tired. I'm checking with you guys probably through when we get about maybe halfway there. So we're having a snack break now. It's about an hour and a half into the ride. Peter and Rosa last night got me pork buns from TNT. And I was told that I would have my curry beef bun re revenge. No, revenge is that the word I'm thinking? Retribution. No. Sure. Redemption. No. Redemption. My curry beef Redemption. bun Redemption. redemption. Since the last time I went to a place to get buns, they screwed me over and gave me like four barbecue pork buns when I wanted curry beef. Anyways, this is usually what a curry beef bun looks like. There are chives on the top. Looks. Not sussy, right? Not so much. Bit into it, the woman at TNT gave it to them, lied. This is tuna. They gave me a tuna bun. I am over two right now for my curry beef buns, which means I need to go back and get another one. I'm not too happy about that because they're not the healthiest, but they taste delicious. But now I have to get more. So I'm just gonna eat my tuna bun here in silence. Not so silent. Not so silent because I'm pretty not happy about it. Very but whiny. for the rest of the duration of my bun consumption, I will be silent. Yep. That is it. Now that you know that it's tuna, is it good? It's not enough mayo. Do you like Dry. it? Dry. Look at it. It 
It's a dry tuna. I mean, it smells really good. It sm yeah. doesn't smell good to begin with, but it's not creamy. <laughs> it's not meant to have creamy. No, the world hates me. Maybe curry beef doesn't like you. I think I just had too many curry beefs as a kid, and now the world just like you hit your quota. No more for life. <laughs> We've made it to the alpaca farm. Just parked, and we're walking over to meet the alpacas. It's a little bit muddy-ish today. It's kind of rainy here. My hair is completely falling out from my head this morning, but I'm so excited to see the alpacas over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Look at the cutie faces. They're so cute. Okay, we're gonna head in. Oh dear, this is muddy. So we oh have about 50 all together. Okay. Huh? And oh my god. Oh, there's a little baby! <laughs> yeah, that's Lisa Bella. Hi! Last July, so she's our youngest one. Oh, oh my god. And Angelo's about a year old. He's our second second baby. They so. don't bite or anything, right? No, they only have teeth on the bottom, and their oh. top is just like a gum palette. Oh. So, is this a goat? Yes, yeah, so we just rescued Fearless the goat. Oh! She, she Hi, honey! With two other alpacas back Hi. there, Todd and Sunrose. The They're eating the hay off of the other one's head. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, how long do they live for? About 20, 25 years. Yeah, so it's definitely not like a short term so holiday. We have arranged marriages here. We get to pick oh. who. <laughs> What's the gestation period like for a little bit? You've read a mixture of grains. There's some oats and some barley, some corn, a little bit of molasses. And I added some carrots today. So you can offer the bin to them and they will stick their nose Ooh. in there and just eat it. And they will just uh, <laughs> scoop it off of the bin. Oh my god. You're so spicy. spicy. Oh, yeah. Hi, I have some too. Sometimes the smaller ones are oh. more You're very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if they got you. That's so funny. That's so funny. Look at that face. Yeah, but look at that one in their face. I don't know what you're mean. <laughs> hey, I have some for you here. I'll let them come to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> Hi, Bella. Oh, she doesn't She's like, I heard you. Food. Bella, you want mine? <laughs> you want she wants food? mine. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look at her. She just like interjects. Maybe you can come. Just like, oh my god, little cutie, hello! <laughs> Conditional is a key word. If you're out of food, they will move on and find food elsewhere. <laughs> Why don't you want my treats? No more. Okay, they don't like the face too much. Alright, so I'll put these girls back. Bye bye, girls. So step one, if, if you think they might spit, they tilt their head back. Aww, they're so funny. Hi, Elmo. Ruben's Hi, so Ruben. Cute. He's like gray. Yo, should I play the song in the background? Walk it like a tuck it as they come out. <laughs> Kobe, I found your yes, spirit Kobe. animal. <laughs> it's just spirit animal, Kobe. Why is that one on the floor? He does not care. <laughs> I-D-G-A-F, that's what he thinks. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's exactly like Kobe. Cute. Is Sam yeah. like a little baby? No, he's a uh, four or five now. Oh, why does he look so tiny and chunky? <laughs> <laughs> just, just the way he is. And he has white this paws. This is the youngest yeah. boy. Hi, Kobe. And then behind his ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. No, no, there, you we don't angry them at all. Hi. Okay, so Will you give like me a kiss? Look at those teeth. One more? Yeah, one more. Yeah. Hello, Ruben. No Guys, there. meet my new best friend, Mel. You've been replaced. I'm taking members of your family into my family now. Say hi, Ruben. Introduce yourself. <laughs> no, he doesn't want to. He's having a mood. Hi, Shiva. You ready for a walk? What are you eating? What you chomping? What you chomping on, Chivas? Yeah. I'm walking my friend, and that's Rusty and Chivas at the back. What cutie! Hi, Ruben. Come on, we gotta catch up and get the treats, bud. Let's get the treats. Come on, let's go. Yeah. They walk so well. Yeah, they're pretty much so animal. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm not quite sure where I left off. I think it was when we were walking the alpacas last. I got like way too excited and I put away the camera, well the vlogging camera to take some photos with my actual DSLR. So I forgot to take it back out to vlog the rest of the situation. But uh, essentially we just walked the alpacas all the way back out and then all the way back in, took some photos, played with them a little bit more in the pen, pet 
some more baby Bella because she's so cute. And then we head over to the little gift shop before leaving Sammy's alpaca farm. It was such a fun day and I'm so happy I finally got to be able to do it. Oh, it was, it was amazing. I think I like finally got to check that off my bucket list. Next up is a donkey sanctuary that's actually a little bit closer to Toronto. It's about like an hour and 20 minute drive away. So maybe we're gonna go there sometime in the summer, okay? Okay. <laughs> He's not enthused. Yeah, but like you enjoyed the alpacas, didn't you? Was your fun? I've been driving all day. That's true. You, you got to sleep in the car, I didn't. Thanks. I essentially slept all the way going there and then slept pretty much almost the entire way going back. We actually had to stop by an on route to wash off all the mud from our shoes because the farm is quite muddy still because I think it's from the spring, the weather changing, all the snow and the slush is like currently melting down right now. But otherwise, I would say it was such a fun experience. If you guys are going to go, a couple things I would do ahead of time. Um, email them in advance and book your slot because they get filled up and you want to reserve the spots. You can definitely walk in and see the alpacas and pet them, but if you don't book and pay ahead of time, you don't get to take them for a walk. I think it's more fun if you can interact and walk around with them as opposed to just looking at them and petting them. Um, number two is make sure to bring boots that you don't mind getting dirty just because the farm at the moment is still quite wet because of the spring melt. So if you can bring a pair of boots, like rain boots, like hunters or bogs or anything that you don't mind getting dirty, I definitely do that. And then bring a pair of shoes to change into to get back into your car so that you can put your shoes away or like bring a plastic bag or something. We wash them off at the on route on the way home. Ooh, I don't think I'm supposed to do that in the sink. But I cleaned the sink afterwards, guys, so don't at me because I did clean it. And then three, if you're going at this time of year, I'd also recommend to bring some mittens as well too just because it's kind of foggy and wet up there. It's like a wet cold. So you're gonna be walking around for quite a while with the leash and the harness in your hands when you're playing with them and when you're walking with them down the road. And it does get a little bit chilly. So if you wanna take photos, your hands are gonna end up getting kind of stiff. So I would recommend bringing a pair of gloves to stay warm and then you can take the gloves off, throw them in your pocket when you're taking the photos. But otherwise, that's all you really need to know. They were super amazing there. They let us take our time, walk the alpacas around, answered all the questions that we had. I'm the type of person who likes to ask like a thousand questions whenever I go anywhere, so. I appreciate that they were super patient and were open to like sharing knowledge and educating me. It was such an amazing experience that I highly recommend anybody who wants to play and touch with alpacas go. I don't think that you can get the same experience anywhere else in the Toronto GT-ish area or even in Ontario. Most of the alpaca farms you like to really go in and like touch them and look at them but you don't get to walk them which is why I like Sammy's alpaca farm. So I'll leave all the links to their information below if you guys want to go book an appointment with them. This is not sponsored at all. It's just something I've always wanted to do. So I had fun. I hope you guys got to enjoy me checking off walking alpacas off of my bucket list i know it's nothing extraordinary like flying to the maldives and going there for the honeymoon but it's definitely something i've always wanted to do and i'm excited to go check out the donkey sometime this summer so if you're an animal lover like me make sure to stick around when i show you where other kind of sanctuary and farms that i go hit up to go hang out with animals other than that thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog this is the most timely vlog that I've ever shot, edited, and uploaded. Because I think this I'm going to probably get this up today. Yeah, same date. So, if you guys are watching this today on uh, March 21st, this happened today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!